Prior to 2010, Big Fork football knew nothing but loss. They lost 31 of 32 games between 2005 and 2008. They lost a teammate in 2007 when Jeffrey Bowman passed away. Yet through it all, a young group of players held to one dream. We always joke about uh, making a movie out of it. Uh, just going from winless team to a state championship team, that would be, uh, that's all of our dream. Slowly but surely, the script began to take shape. It started with former coach Todd Emsley returning in 2009 and ending the three-season winless streak. In 2010, they went 6-2, and two, winning their conference and going to the playoffs. We took it upon ourselves to win, started playing for ourselves and our team, and then also playing for the community. I think a lot of us uh, enjoyed playing too much to ever think about quitting. <laughs> Wins over Loyola, Broadwater County, and Cutbank sent the Vikings to the title game. And it became clear that something special was happening, not just to this team, but to this entire town. I got people coming out of their stuff. They're pulling out of their cars and they're coming out to the window and pounding on the window saying, we're going to be there Saturday. You guys are making memories. <laughs> you're making <laughs> memories for this town. It's unreal what you're doing. In the title game, they hosted Fairfield, a team they'd lost to earlier in the year. With eight seconds left, down by four, they faced fourth down. In this game, as they'd done all year, the team once known only for defeat refused to lose. It feels amazing. I don't even know how I feel. We couldn't have done this without each other. No one person pushed us any harder than the rest. Uh, to those guys that didn't play, thank you for, for pushing us during the practices. And uh, to the town, thanks for supporting us. Even through those, those years we didn't win a game, we paid off.